At NBCS, for some time now, we've been running virtual 3D environments uh, for students to be able to access, uh, including Minecraft and OpenSim and Second Life. Uh, in OpenSim, for instance, students can request an account and then log in anytime they want uh, from school or at home. What we've discovered is that the students slowly build up this expertise regarding how to build in the world, code objects so that they behave in particular ways, and then the students share this knowledge amongst themselves, uh, thus creating a, a, a kind of community of practice. Borelli Virtual Island, it looks very, very high tech, it looks very interesting, and lots of students can go on there to learn. I created the art gallery so the school can see everybody's artworks instead of going around in a particular room in the school, everybody can go online and see. I first got involved a few years ago and back when it was Second Life. I'm making a, a help centre with one of my friends and so it's for new students who haven't been on the world much and they just log on, they can come in, find out things, how to, you know, how to run, how to fly, how to build stuff. You can work together by making a group and in that group you can make buildings together, you can make shops together, you can go even make art galleries as one of my friends has. You can learn new skills by, if you have a, if you have a question, then you come to the Borelli meeting and then Mr Collis can help you about it. And, but there are also parts in the help centre which might tell you about new skills that you may or may not know about. We're delighted to run this project because we reckon students are learning skills that will benefit them for their entire lives. Soft skills, skills in creativity, collaboration and, and problem solving. And it's, it's amazing what students can do when given a chance without any requirement for direct uh, instruction from a teacher. We just need to give them the chance to explore on their own and reach their potential.